In today's video, we're going to be testing some hemostatic agent combat gauze to see if it's still effective after its expiration date. Today, we're going to be testing some nine years expired combat gauze. So this combat gauze expired nine years ago. Its expiration was 2016. So we're going to test this and see if it's still effective, see if it can still work and if it's still durable in good condition, acceptable condition. Also, before we start this video, I want to make sure I mention that this is not a medical training video. This is not a medical advice video. I'm not instructing you guys on how to pack wounds or on how to do medical care, tactical combat casualty care. This is specifically only a video to test the durability and effectiveness of combat gauze after its nine years past expiration. So we're mainly testing to see if this could still be capable of being used past expiration, not showing proper wound packing methods. That's just for you guys to take note of, okay? So if that's something you guys are interested in, something you guys would like to know about and see the test results on, I'm gonna be doing a simulated wound packing on this video today. So if you guys do go on to enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And let's get into the video. Okay guys, as you guys can see here, we have the expired combat gauze here. As you guys can see, this gauze expired in 2016, so it's past nine years past the expiration. We're gonna go ahead and use it on this simulated meat target right here. Let me refocus so you guys can see. Simulated meat target, we have a wound that we put right there with the stab wound homemade with the kitchen knife. We're gonna be using this combat gauze that's nine years expired to see if it works and if it's still durable and it doesn't rip up into pieces, disintegrate. Right here, we got some pork blood and a Gatorade bottle rigged together using a breathing tube and some hot glue. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna open up the combat gauze and see what it looks like, see if it doesn't just tear apart when we first take it out the package. All right, so here's our combat gauze. So this is what it looks like. Got the x-ray strip right in the middle to detect the gauze and how deep it is in the wound. Feels like it's intact, looks perfect. It's not all flaky, tearing apart. Twist it, see if it could hold up to some pulling. I'm pulling it pretty hard and it is not coming apart. So this is nine years expired gauze, guys, as you guys can see, I'm twisting it and it seems very durable. So I'm just gonna fold it up to get it tight in a bunch, like just twist it, kind of yank it to see how tough and durable it is. As you guys can see, this is still very durable after nine years being past the expiration. So me personally, I would feel comfortable shoving this into a wound to pack wound if need be in an SHTF scenario. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here using the simulated wound packer. So I'm gonna have my assistant here pump the, pump the blood into the wound as we pack this um, shortly. But this is essentially what the gauze is gonna look like after you guys take it out of the package. This is almost exactly identical to how it looks brand new, if not identical, okay? Pulse. Keep going. Don't release. You keeping pressure? Yeah. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, we're holding direct pressure with each finger using the Z fold, applying direct pressure as my assistant keeps pressure and pulsating the bottle, pumping the blood through the tube. Okay? What you guys want to do, once you fill out the whole cavity of the entire wound and you come to the top of the wound, we're about flush or just above level of the skin where the wound is. You want to then use the rest of the gauze, apply direct pressure, and put as much pressure as you can on the wound. At least three to four minutes using hemostatic gauze. If you're not using hemostatic gauze, you want to hold direct pressure for at least 10 minutes using regular gauze. You test it periodically with a high level to make sure you can see it. Okay, keep squeezing it. I'm gonna hold this for three minutes straight. All right, guys, just as a reminder, just to note, never test this in real life or use anything you've seen from this video as real life medical training advice. This is just to practice and test the wound packing gauze, combat gauze after it's nine years past expiration date to see its effectiveness and see if it's still usable, which it looks like it's worked perfectly here. But you guys would follow much different procedures if someone's life was on the line, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, I've been applying pressure for about three to four minutes on this wound. I'm gonna lift up pressure, take the gauze out, which you would never do in a real life situation. But then I wanna look at the wound and see what the gauze looks like, see if anything has clotted at the side of the artery or if the gauze has held together in a clump, how it's supposed to start occluding flow and cause coagulation. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. No, there's anything as well. I've mm -hmm. taken all the gauze out of the wound. This is how much gauze we basically used in the entire wound. So about half of the wound packing gauze, about six or seven feet of gauze, give or take. 
Um, but it worked, as you guys can see, the wound is not filled up with blood as it once was. There's a little bit of dry blood right there at the side of where the simulated artery was, but all the gauze worked. It's still intact. I could still fold it tight and it, um, it's still in con good condition. As you guys can see, I wanna show you in some detail right here. If you look closely on the gauze, you could see some little tiny clotted spots. I think it did its job. As you guys can see, you could see little thicker, like right there, there's a little blood clot some thicker spots of blood where it started to just dry up and harden in the side of the artery being exposed. But that's kind of like the best I could do with the minimal medical training I have. I'm not TCCC certified. I'm not a medical trainer, but I have some minimal medical knowledge when it comes to TCCC training and tactical combat casualty care. And I just wanted to give you guys this quick little experiment that I had in mind using some realistic props, I guess. So, so as you guys can see, you see these blood clots as I'm removing the gauze from the wound. This is firsthand proof that the clotting factor inside the combat gauze is still active, still working after nine years of expiration. So as I say, keep what you guys got. Do not get rid of your emergency combat gauze that's past its expiration. I'm gonna remove some more of this and see if we can find any more clotting deep in the wound. See, look at that giant blood clot right there. I mean, it's not the biggest, but that's where the artery was. As you guys can see, there's our makeshift artery right here in the wound, right there. Um, still have some blood in the tube. It's already coagulating on its own, but yeah. This is a bloody mess. I hope you guys went on to enjoy this video. Um, I hope that gives you some good data on if you should or shouldn't use combat, combat gauze in a SHDF scenario. I would trust my life to it if it's all I would have. But um, yeah, just a quick little video down and dirty, showing some real live action results with the realest props that I could get with my current budget, using some real pork blood, uh, pork uh, or beef roast, okay? We're using the best results we can with the best budget we have at the time, and we're testing to see if some of this expired combat guys could work. This one right here is a new one, so this one is a 2027 expiration. But the one we tested in that video, guys, was an expired 2016 combat guys, as you've seen in the video on the date. And it still worked. It was still very usable. I would personally trust my life to it in an SHDF scenario, whatever it may be. If that's only the only gauze we had that had old expiration dates, I would trust it 10 years past its expiration confirmed. I just used one that's nine years old. I would have trust to use it a year later if it was still sealed in the vacuum. So the conclusion here is if you have expired combat gauze, if it's still in the vacuum and it still looks and feels fresh, okay? If your combat gauze is still in the vacuum, still looks exactly like this, you could squeeze it and it still feels perfectly tight to the seal, vacuum seal. Chances are the expired combat gauze is just perfectly fine. I would keep it, put it in your backup emergency go bags, whatever it may be. Keep it, do not throw it away just to replace it with double extra gauze. It will still be effective, I guarantee it, okay? Tell me what your opinion is on this. Um, Tell me if this is something you've been interested in and wanted to see a video on. I've searched the internet on this. I was looking up a whole bunch of YouTube videos personally on to see if anyone has tested expired combat gauze. I was looking at videos from Prec Medic, Skinny Medic, uh, just a bunch of different medical channels, right? And none of the videos I could find, anybody was willing to use expired combat gauze in a test video. So I'm like, why don't I make a simulator and test it out myself? So let me know if you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you thought my wound pack simulator was pretty accurate or unique, good enough. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you would be willing to trust to use expired combat guys yourself after watching this video and just comment down anything I may have missed. And yeah, I'll have more videos like this coming out later on today and later this week. And this is FP out.